Yo, what's up guys, welcome back after a really long while for Loki, episode 1. You know how annoying it was to have to wait this long after Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because obviously after one division we only had like a, what, a two week break. But um, yeah, with this one it's been a lot longer, so I just seen the first trailer and I didn't watch anything else after that. But I've sort of seen bits and pieces obviously online. Not about the episode, but about the story and what the show's going to be like in general. So, Loki is one of the characters I don't really know much about from the background. Like, I've seen a lot of cartoons and movies where he's been in, but it's not really explored his background as much as it's just shown him tricking Thor or the Avengers and so on. His usual MO. But, um, yeah, I just want to jump straight into this without any further delays. So,. Let's go. I was gonna say it's been a while since I've seen this, but then I remembered I watched Endgame like three weeks ago. So again, fucking every time I just I need to learn. I have to learn. Such a good color. Gets up on the pedestal. I am Loki. I'm guessing that's the boss. Do the disappearing thing. Oh shit. That would have knocked him clean out. Oh. What the fuck? And he felt all the pain in real time. Reset the timeline. Hello, ma'am. Uh, this guy. Oh. Can you at least tell me what it is? I always imagined how much more ripped he'd get because he actually originally auditioned for Thor, and I've seen the audition tape with him with what? the hammer. Now he has to do it again. He's got a signature. Even gods have signatures. Do a lot of people not know if they're robots? Thank you for your confirmation. Please move through. <laughs> He's just had a mini existential crisis there. <laughs> I like how he missed the pocket on the first time. I guess I can't even say this is the first time you've seen this in the MCU because WandaVision did it. And you did it really well. That middle one looks like Kang. He really does. Kang the Conqueror. How did these guys not end up catching any of the Avengers that split up in Infinity War and just went to different times? That other guy didn't take a ticket. I feel like he's just gonna get killed. I'm calling it now. He's gonna get killed. Get the ticket. Yeah, get that ticket. Here's our intro. Starting off black and white, very basic, and I'm guessing with every episode it's just gonna get more and more colourful and creative. The devil. What the fuck? Bye. I need to go. Past the point of no return, but have to reset the time. Look, this has been a very enjoyable pantomime, but I'm like just God. not understanding that Are he's insignificant here. Yeah. No. Have an idea of what he's capable of. I guess he took the idea of taking a task force to hunt someone. He wants him to go after the devil. I wonder what it does look like. The place, is it a planet? Is it a... I don't know. What is it? Home sweet home. 
just seems endless. I think that's what they're in. They're in an endless place. Timeless. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. I'm guessing he's billions of years old. The TVA is courageous and he's just gonna show him every time he's failed. Is this the... Oh my god. Thank you. D.B. Cooper, I thought he ended up doing this when he was with the TVA, but this is something he did prior, so he actually was D.B. Cooper. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Oh, the money. I can't believe you were D.B. Cooper. Come on. I was young and I lost a bet to Thor. Where was it? Also, that I'm guessing he had to... Of approval. Go to the Robo Bank and escape. And That's sort of. I was just standing out to make a point. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. It won't be as meaningful now. Okay, we'll just stay seated. I'll do what I want to do. Sure. <laughs> what exactly is it that you want? Not I want you to be on. I do Italy because I did it. Not because it was supposed to happen. Or because you or the. He has the idea of predetermination. I do too. Honestly, you're pathetic. The dark elves attack the palace. Thank you, Shit. To Thor. He's you gonna take have to see. To the left. He sent the beast that killed his mom. My God. And this was what was supposed to happen. So that others. And achieve their best versions of themselves. Oh. He was supposed to be evil so that the Avengers could form and become what they were. I mean, it's depressing from Loki's point of view, but that's just how it is. He did. He took it out of his pocket, oh my god. Casey, that's what it is. Give me the tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? <laughs> he asked for his name so he could make the threat dad, more the meaningful. Oh, what does it make? Infinity stones? You fucking kid. I, <laughs> I have these. You guys use them as paperweights. <laughs> Come along. Is that how insignificant? The Infinity Saga is in, in the scale of, in, in the cosmic scale, and now he's realised how small he is. That look on his face. He means nothing, and he's realised it. So. He's gonna watch himself get killed. He's gonna realize how insignificant his death was. That's end. He's getting the hang of it. Is she gonna die? I guess that he's just erased her. She just needs a moment to process. And you need the god of mischief to help you solve them. That's right. Yep. Is it him in his um, ice form? Kinda looks like the devil in that. Who is that? 
How they're gonna show us? That's the question. It's gonna get dragged away. Yeah. Him. They're looking for him. Are we gonna get a post card soon? I wonder. Just gonna skip. No? Okay. Never mind. So, that's the end of that. The first thing I just want to talk about is how are they hunting him? Is it because now that what we've seen? He's come to the TVA, he's managed to escape and get control. Is this a future version of him now? Who's come back to you know, squadrons of Minutemen to hunt them down and kill them? I don't know. It's just all. It's, there's so much. Infinity Stones are useless here. You have to learn how insignificant he is. You have to see his mom's and his dad's deaths as well as his own. And then that's when he knew exactly who he was or what he was. But overall, just an amazing episode. An amazing first episode. And I definitely have to rewatch it tomorrow when I'm less high. But it was it was just perfectly good. It was it was quite an emotional one to be fair. Um but yeah. Just I'd give it a straight 10 out of 10. It's a first pilot episode. We've learned a lot about the TVA, how they formed the three gods who predetermine everything. But I really didn't expect him to escape and start doing all that stuff even, but I guess we have to expect that he's the god of mischief. And now I can't believe they didn't show the person at the end. That kid at the start said it was the devil. He pointed that picture of the devil. And Loki, in his blue form, kind of, I don't know, I guess a child could mistake it for a devil like thing, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to see. And until then, that's it for me. Peace.